Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this theorem. Okay. So what we have a matrix space XD. Let me draw here. Suppose this is a matrix space XD we have. Okay. Uh, we have a set A. Suppose this is set A. And there exists a sequence of points of A converging to P. Suppose there is a sequence X1, X2, X3, X4 and so on. So that sequence converges to point P. Then we have to prove that P belongs to A bar. Right. So let us start with the given information. Let me write. We have a sequence. We are calling it as X1, Xn of points of A such that Xn converges to P. Xn converges to P, right? So we are familiar with the definition of convergent sequence. So uh, for given epsilon, there exists n belongs to set of natural number and so and so that definition I'm going to use here. But see, instead of epsilon, I will take R. Epsilon is positive real number. So R is also I'm taking positive real number. So let R greater than zero be given. I'm taking any arbitrary R. So by uh, definition of convergent sequence, we can write there exist and belongs to set of natural number such that such that yeah, D of xnp less than r for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Okay, so by definition of convergent sequence, we will get this one. See, distance of xn from point p is less than r. Suppose we have a ball with center p radius r. See, xn, distance of xn from p is less than r. That means xn should be inside a ball. If its distance is greater than R, then Xn will be outside a ball. But here distance is less than R. It means Xn lies inside a ball with center P radius R. Getting here also you can do the same. If you draw any ball around P getting with radius R, there is some N such that Xn belongs to that ball. But, but uh, see, this is true for all n greater than or equal to capital N. But Xn is a sequence of points of A. So therefore, Xn belongs to A also. This is true for every natural number. You are getting the point. This is a given thing that basically Xn is a sequence of points of A. So each Xn belongs to A. What we are saying, Xn belongs to this ball with this condition for n greater than or equal to capital N. Here we are saying Xn belongs to A for every n belongs to set of natural number. So we can say Xn lies in intersection getting with this condition. So let me write here. Therefore, therefore, uh, therefore, Xn belongs to Xn belongs to ball with center P radius R intersection A getting for all n greater than or equal to capital N. This restriction should be added there. Getting? So all these points lies in intersection. The most important thing is that intersection is non-empty. This is most important thing. Some points are there. So therefore intersection B, P, R intersection A is not equal to phi for all R greater than zero. I should write this since R is arbitrary. So intersection is non-empty for every r greater than zero. This is definition of closure point. So therefore we can declare this P belongs to A bar. So in this way we proved that P belongs to A bar. Okay, proof is over. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.